that in the midst of my misery, I wrote a letter to Toni Morrison. We hadn't even met at the time. But I wrote a letter to her to say thank you. Thank you very much for not only seeing me and, and naming me somebody else, that's all right, but seeing me as an African-American woman, seeing me and loving me. This is what this woman has done through 10 books, loving, respecting, appreciating the African-American woman and all that she goes through. Whether it's in Beloved, the bluest side, whatever it is. So I, I love the fact that I'm here tonight to be here to respect and show my respect and my delight, my love for Toni Morrison. I thank you, my dear. I am a, and in an attitude of gratitude. I just wanted to read a little bit of, of her explanation of what it's like to be a writer. Writing and reading are not at all that distinct for a writer. Both exercises require being alert and ready for an unaccountable beauty, for the intricateness or simple elegance of the writer's imagination, for the world that imagination evokes. Both require being mindful of the places where imagination sabotages itself, locks its own gates, pollutes its own vision. Writing and reading mean being aware of the writer's notions of risk and safety, the serene achievement of our sweaty fight form, meaning and responsibility. I thank you, Tony Madison. I thank you for your genius. And my dears, I thank you for your hospitality.